Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood after a rant at the end of the last episode. So, we know the Dorthal are not filthy cheaters when it comes to the Nodim, and yeah, we're not gonna get any more out of them. That's it. And that's a little lesson on their beliefs and whatnot. And as I said before, it at least may be of some use to us during the Nada. It may or may not, but it's at least more useful than anything the Dorthal, you know, not the Dorthal, the, the Oranir have have given us. We're just going to pick up this Aether Current quest while we're over here. We're not going to do anything with it yet. But it's just here. Oh, this is one of the side quests I actually liked. I'm not. I'm not actually gonna go through with it. Um, again, I just, I just, just picking that up for the Aether Current and whatnot. And now that I have the marker, I can just be easily reminded of that. I'm just gonna teleport just straight back to the Dawn Throne and screw this walking. But yeah, apparently his shtick in his past life is he was a master swordsman or whatever. But apparently he sucks with swords now. I guess. And mind you, he's an, he's an adult, and he will eventually find his affinity is with fist weapons. Well, actually, just his fists. And it's hilarious because after the fact, he'll find out that in his past lives that he's mastered multiple different kinds of weapons through throughout his, his different lives. And for some idiot reason, nobody ever really told him of this. And it's like, wow. <laughs> you people are terrible. It's like this guy is suffering a life crisis over not living up to his past life. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, it doesn't have to be swords you need to master, you silly head. And I'm having trouble finding the front door. You you'll have to early forgive me for this. Too busy telling a story and whatnot. But it's like, that's the kind of stuff that... A lot of the information we're given here, not that it's uninteresting, but what the hell is it doing in the main scenario is my question. We're still trying to just pass time until the freaking Nottam. That's the next major plot point. Can we get to it already? Holy crap, like this padding is just awful. Okay, we talked to the, the, the Dorthal, Saru says, you smell, and she doesn't like the Ornir, and she's got no tricks up her sleeve, so, can you please let us go? Oh, he is salty about this. Ooh. So, yeah, remember when we heard from the tale of, you know, how the Oranir came to be and whatever, that Azim and Nama were lovers and all that, and therefore, because they're all descended from Azim, you know, they have each, each their own Nama and to basically, you know, their, their one true love. And, um, he's, he, he tried to find his, and yeah, that didn't go so well. 
Thought he was having none of that crap. What now? Now, it would be more useful if, you know, maybe they told us what the hell the law of the step is. Like, is it just, you know, my word is law at the end of the day kind of thing? Is it simply just as that? I, I don't think they ever quite fully elaborate on that. Um, I'm led to believe that, but... Lise, you think more than you think you do. Yeah, they're probably worried sick about us. All our other friends are probably worried sick about us too. Let's get this at their current quest. Is this the cook guy? Oh my god, that... You know, we just literally had a freaking plot point about Lise milking their damn sheep. You have milk. Like, as, as I said about a similar quest in... Uh, Ralgar's Reach. Well, you can't leave your... F oh. Damn it. <laughs> that did not go quite as planned. I was not anticipating the, the uh, width of the moat here. Whoops. But yeah, um, it's not like he can leave, you know, just a, a you know, a, a hot stove there unattended or anything like that. So he does need somebody to go fetch the milk, but you should already have the milk. I shouldn't have to milk more sheep to get it. But yeah, that, that poor guy, he, he gets looked down upon by the rest of the Ornir because he's a cook and not a great warrior. And they're all about being the great warriors and stuff like that. And it's like, screw you, you still need your cooks, you still need your medics. You still need people to research your medicine. You still pe need people to document and share your history. Like, you still need all these people. It's called a functional society. And I always wondered, how do they actually, like, gather up their stuff to, to, to travel when, they're, when their gods demand it? It's a lot of stuff to move. Or do the gods just tell them, no, just leave it there, and squatters take it over, and they, they just rebuild it somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of slugged on a bit, he in. Okay, can, can, can the appropriate day come and can we finally, finally fight in the damn Nottum? Oh, finally, I have a new dang helmet. I, I'm still wearing the 260 helmet because I have failed to get any until this point. Oh my goodness. Alright, yeah, we, we gotta fix that. We have to fix that. And I don't know how many glamour prisms I have yet left. Uh, where is my eyeglasses? I can't see in this thing. There we go. Alright. All right, so no new dialogue there. You know, our friends back at the House of the Fierce are probably worried sick about us. Yeah, you guys don't usually fight in this thing, so... Yeah. Hopefully y'all to return in one piece.
Yeah. We can do it. Come on. Yeah, let's be optimistic to this girl. Your gods want you to, to, to fight, so... Honor their word, I guess. So they're going to be the ones employing, you know, I don't want to say the trickery because it's not quite what they're doing, but more playing diversion, I guess. Heck yeah! Just another day's work for us. Nope, we're not gonna wait until dawn. We're actually- I'm- I'm just completely curious here. I'm gonna go back real quick. And... See if people are even loaded at the House of the Fears. Like, I don't think they ever expect you to go back and check on people, but I'm just ultimately really curious because... Yugiri may not know, like, how long this is- this is gonna take. Like, she may be assuring them that, you know, yes, we're gonna return. But... Probably worried sick. Okay, so I can indeed confirm that nobody is loaded at the House of the Fear, so at least nobody important, just the random NPCs. So finally, finally, finally. And this is one of the few scenes that will only take place in certain weather, because obviously this- see you, soil bearers. This takes place, obviously, at dawn, so... In-game time of day has no effect on it whatsoever. Or at least it shouldn't. If not, that's rather silly. So, who these people are, what magic they're using, what's going on here, I don't know. It's just the magic circle we get the a touch. The soil has been scattered, and the steppe reborn! Sanctified and unbound, she calls for a new Han! Go forth and claim her, Dothal, and bring death to all who bar your way! It begins, Grandmother.
I must say, it's been a while. Is everyone ready? Oh, ready or not, we get a contest to win. <laughs> a samurai is always ready. You shall remember this soon enough once I have taken to the field. So we take on all comers and then it's off to Doma. I can't wait. Thank you, my friends. Upon the soil of one and all shall our deeds be inscribed. Grant us favor, O oh Mother of the Dusk, and to victory, guide them all! So, I've never actually lost this trial, so I don't know how, other than just dying. Um, but hopefully that's not going to happen. Hopefully we're not going to be dumb. So what I really like about this is not only does everyone have a cool icon above their head to signify that we're flying, we actually use the Yols to to march into battle, and I think that's awesome. Um, we're not actually flying, we're just floating above the ground, and that's kind of crappy, but uh, apparently these guys want a piece of me, and yeah, that didn't last long. Hi, at least there you are over there. So yeah, it's, it's worth noting that while the model are not exactly warriors, it's not like they're unskilled because they have to, you know, hunt game and life on the step is, is not, you know, easy. You know, let me take care of this guy and I'm going to go ahead. Out of my way. Bye. Oh, great. I get to deal with you people now. And you get a kick right in the nuts. Well, that wasn't really effective. Okay. All right, Serena, I got your back. You've been good to us. And I can't run. And you can't mount here either. <laughs> it's quite a big map in here, guys. So yeah, getting that circle not gonna be so easy. Um, thank you, people of the Dorthal, who, uh... Yeah, see, you can't just go in there and barrel in. But yeah, it is it is it is very interesting to see, and I love how everyone has a marker above their head to, to denote what tribe there are, even though it's, it's in their name. It, it's kind of something I wish we saw a little bit more often. But that it's good to see that we're, even though we have more than one opponent, you know, our opponents will attack other opponents, you know? Oh, you!
You know, while we're standing here, why doesn't one of our, you know, somebody else go clean this, you know? Rise, brothers of the sun! Okay, well, where are you, Serena? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay. You okay, girl? Hey, 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 hey. Hearken to the chaos, brothers! This thing is mine! Mine! <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I could use some damn help over here. Oh, no, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. I see that. See, I have to get my face up in that thing. You know, some healing would be nice, guys. Oh, shit. I might want to get out of that. Ah! I think I pissed too many off! In death do our souls sing! Okay, I don't think I want you to do that. Can I kill these things? The game would let me target them. Okay, they're infinitely easier to handle than she is. Phew. Yeah. And this guy is still on me. I actually really... I, I, as chaotic as this is, I, I really like how they set up this this whole battle royale. Sorry. Well, what are you going claim it? Not you. He and. You're standing right next to it. Like, do something about that, okay? Uh, I got this. Th th this whole thing was your idea anyway. Leave this one to me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I do not like how you're handling this. No. The sun cannot be extinguished. Night has fallen for you. I don't know what crazy magic you're up to, girl, it but. No! Mine! Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll smack you in the face. I win! Oh, I don't even get Super Saiyan lights out of this. The step has spoken. Then the horn is. We have won. The Mall have won. The Dawn Throne is ours. You're welcome. We did it. And you, my friend, you, you were magnificent. Magnificent and, uh, not a little terrifying. What a strange tale this has become. To think I suffered and to live.
On your guard, Utun. The wind warns of men in iron. Wait, what? Oh, no! How did you track me down all the way up here? <laughs> I thought I'd find you here, Aeosian! Dearest of all my enemies! Today's the day I finally get to kill you! And then they'll give me a shiny medal and my choice of posting. Bloody perfect it is. Well, go on then. Kill her. Kill them all. <sighs> Do we really have to keep doing this? Dearest of all his enemies, eh? Congratulations. Hearken to me, honored warriors of the steppe. Our enemies intrude upon this sacred ground. Have you yet the strength to oppose them? I love how they're all just staring at him. You forget to whom you speak, Doman. We are the undying ones. We are Dothal. If this be the will of the Mole and their Han, so be it. The sun shall abide by the law of the steppe. So do they even know who these people are? <laughs> or do they look like, well, not just another opponent to fight, you know, all in a day's work. Now this time they're all fighting on my side. And Lisa's thrilled that she gets to punch time more to Imperials. Okay, I don't know how you just buff me up, but um, okay. Can can you do that all the time? This blow shall end you. Mark well and learn. <laughs> it's the fun. There's just this is so much chaos going on, and like everyone's like, "Well, let's just do this." I'm not sure why spider weapon is not, you know, trying to run me over yet, but you, can't say I'm complaining. Oh, and they just keep coming. I don't think they know who they're dealing with. we can defeat them. Let not be left in our wake. Um, except us. Okay, we're we're allies. Sort of now. I guess. I don't know. H how do we describe this? <laughs> Must defend. Be friends now and stuff. Mostly. I don't know. This is all very complicated and confusing. Laws are weird here, okay, guys? I'm trying to let you finish, girl. I'm trying, okay? The dude isn't even coming after me. Like, he's just, like, sitting there, like... Well, throwing fire at somebody, I guess. I think we're good, though. Baga, baga, baga. Yeah, you mad you're gonna lose again? 
I'm sorry, I just love her laugh. I had you! I had you! No, you didn't. <laughs> Impossible! She was there for the taking! What do I have to do? Give up. J just, just, just give up. Get yourself a hobby. I need more men, more weapons, more power! <sighs> yeah, Ryan, like a little chicken you are. The likes of him. And we're only gonna get stronger. Stronger and stronger until we're strong enough to take back everything they stole. Yeah, you just keep running like a little chicken. I have kept my promise, Serena. They are yours to command. Oh, yes, of course. I'm the one who touched the sacred circle here. Brothers and sisters of the steppe, the Nardom is ended, and we Mull now claim the Dawn Throne. No demands shall we make of you, save these. Heed our comrades' words, and honor the law of the steppe. Oh, you two are within feet of each other and not killing each other? I'm impressed. Before I fought for the Mall, I fought for my homeland, for Doma. To Doma, would you have us go to fight your war and win your freedom? Yeah, that about sums it up. That was the whole plan here, anyway. Very well. The battlefield matters not, nor else the enemy. In battle do our souls burn bright. And better the Mole's law than that of the sun. Arrogant and foolhardy were their pronouncements. Already you and yours show better sense. The sun shall answer your call, Doman. Wild as the wind the Atun and her brood may be, but they will deliver you naught. We will deliver you your kingdom. Okay, okay, guys, this is not a dick measuring contest, okay? <laughs> Weak and few as we are, the Mole will fight for Doma too. If you will have us. But, but do your gods say it's okay? Well then, I believe not remains but to return to Doma at the head of a Zela army, my lord. I cannot wait to see the look on Yugiri's face. Nor I. We shall depart as soon as our forces are assembled and rejoin our comrades. And then, my friends, we shall bring freedom to the people of Doma! Well, that got rather wordy and lengthy. So finally, finally, it's... Well, suddenly nightfall. We're, we're just gonna pretend, you know, we, we sat back and rested and ate for a while. Because <laughs> all those cutscenes are, are daylocked. But we're gonna have to send this episode right here. Because obviously those battles and cutscenes back to back get rather lengthy. So we're gonna have to talk to Hien and our travel plans back home next time. Thank you for watching, friends. I'll see you then.